Today we got a fantastic video that I'm very happy to bring to you guys at home. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Rusto Turbo Cans and a special mod that I have created. Well, I may not be the first one, but you know, you take two drill bits. One is a 7 64ths drill bit. The other is a 1 8 drill bit. 7 64ths, 1 8 8th. You see this here? See this? What I did is I just wrapped some gaffers tape around here to kind of give myself a little bit of a grip because the thing is, is you don't want to just stick a drill and just go and ream it out because first of all, you're probably not careful enough to manage it properly. And second of all, it's unnecessary. Uh, this is a very slow process. Take your time, don't, don't get in a hurry. What you want to do is just slowly start with the smaller bit, the 764th, and just kind of slowly kind of rotate it in. You'll feel it kind of catching a little bit on the little pieces of plastic inside. And it's okay, just go ahead and just slowly rotate it and slowly, slowly, slowly. And yes, this will spin around a bit, that's okay, just take your time. Then you move up to the larger drill bit. Now, I know you're probably asking yourself, why not just start with the big one? Try it, see if it works for you. I like to be a little bit on the safer side, start out with the smaller one, move up to the bigger one, and then I think you'll get better, a better, uh, a better cleaner hole. 2,000 years later. All right guys, so we're outside. We're gonna go ahead and put our adapter on just like that and easy as pie. So any plastic that was inside of there got blown right out. Your valve is nice and clean and ready to go. So why don't we go ahead and mount a Lego on here? Look at that, it's perfect, it mounts beautifully. Oh, one more cool thing about the, uh, the turbo cans. Unlike the other Rustos, it is not a 360 valve. So if you get a clog, you're just blowing out gas. Very, very good. I prefer this over 360. I think the 360 is junk. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do a couple quick test tags here just so you guys can see what it's like. Look at that right there. That's like a Lego on a Belton can. It's perfect. Works really, really good. Really not bad at all. I mean, this is this is great. So if you want to outline with your Rusto, no adapter, none of that funny junk. It goes right on. It's perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try out the New York Fat Cap. Let's see how it sprays. Mmm. Not too shabby. That was a sketchy one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's give it a shot. I like it. I like it.
it's really a shame that Rusto doesn't use this valve on the regular Rusto cans because that would be really cool to just drop a New York fat cap into one of these. I mean, obviously a female valve would be superior and if Rusto really had it together, they would be using female valves again. But that's a whole nother story. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy using this mod on the turbo cans, especially with like the Lego caps. I mean, you're gonna be able to use your turbo can as an outline can. Of course you can outline with anything, but I like the look of the Lego. It's very nice. Anyways, thank you very much guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it inspired you to try out some different stuff. You know, expand upon this, do some different things. Um, comment below to let me know what you think. Uh, I'm still doing some mods on that can shaker. So if you have any suggestions on the can shaker, please let me know. Somebody had mentioned snowboard straps, which I think is a good idea. So I think we're gonna go ahead and order some of those and see if that works. Uh, if you have any other suggestions about this mod, if you think it's a great mod, if you think it's not a great mod, definitely comment below too. Uh, if you have opinions on Rust-Oleum and their valves, comment below. Or if you just wanna talk about graffiti, whatever it is, comment below. Anyway, so I guess that's it. And if you guys want some graph supplies, definitely check out Art Primo. We got all the caps, baby. We got caps, we got cans. Oh, we just got a shipment of Flamin too, which I'm pretty pumped about. So we'll be looking at that in a second. I've been waiting a while for that one. But anyways, I gotta go guys. We got some paint to count, peace. You know, it happens to the best of us. It happens to all of us. You know, you're working on a project, you gotta climb up a ladder to get this reacher spot, you know, you're shaking the can and, and it hits the ground and you know, boom, you just broke your valve. Now, with a female can, it's a lot easier because if the cap breaks, all you have to do is just take like a, you know, something like a, you know, just kind of pry out that little bit of the stem that gets stuck in there, put a fresh cap on and you're good to go. The can suffers very little wear. Although sometimes the, the the top of the can gets a little bit crooked, so the cap will be on a little bit crooked, but it still sprays, you know, it still sprays. This can be a bit of a circumstance that can be difficult to, well, to deal with, you know. How, how are you gonna get over that? You know, this, this is broken. Now, we did talk a little bit about shaving out the valve so you can stick caps in there. Will it still work after a catastrophic failure? Let's find out. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we'll, we'll find out, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start with the New York fat cap. We're gonna stick it right in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray. Now, remember, before we get started, your results may vary and don't try this at home. Your results may vary and don't try this at home. I'm just here to show you what happens. Make sure you wear gloves when you don't try this and uh, point it away from yourself. Wear safety glasses too, because you might get a wet face. <laughs> All right, let's see how it works. Oh! Oh! Oh my God, it's totally working. All right, so it did spray a little bit when I put the cap on, just so you guys know. So you really gotta push it in, but once you get it locked in, it definitely sprays. Now, this is missing about half of the plastic stem. So maybe if we cut it all the way off, it may not work. I don't know, but like I said, your results may vary. Your results may vary. Let's try a Rusto fat. Let's see if we can get that in there. Whoa, this looks exactly like the old school Rusto. It's actually, it's actually very nice. You know, it's, it's not as flary as the New York fat cap, but it puts out more paint. So if you want that nice heavy flow, this might, this might actually be a good way to go. Rock a Rusto fat on it. And in this circumstance, we lost about half of the plastic on the stem. You know, maybe you might just lose a little chip off the top. Maybe you lose the whole stem altogether. And that's what I want to find out right now. Why don't we just cut it flush with the top of the can and see if it still works. Obviously an extreme scenario. Don't try this at home. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo. 
That is sketchy. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hold the can like this. Remember, this is flush with the top of the can. This is flush with the top of the can. <laughs> Look at that. It's dual gender. There's enough in there to grab the cap. Obviously, like, it doesn't spray as fat, but... Looks like a Lego, doesn't it? It looks like a Lego cap. It works. I mean, it is completely shaved off. And you're still getting it to spray. It's fantastic. That's my mood. I mean, guys, this is groundbreaking. The ability to use male caps on these cans, even in the most extreme circumstances where the valve is completely broken, you're still able to mount a cap on it. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys know about this. You've dealt with this many, many times. But what about these? I don't think it works. I don't think the hole's big enough to accommodate it, unfortunately. That's why they gotta put these on these. And I think it would alleviate a lot of people's problems. But that's a whole nother video. But I will say this, I'm very impressed with how this turned out. And I'll definitely be using that technique in the future. I, I like outlining with those. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like the way it feels when you're doing an outline with these tall cans. It just kind of balances in your hand nicely. But I guess that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it inspired you to try out some new stuff because half the fun of doing this is experimenting and trying to see what works and what doesn't and sharing the knowledge with people because then they take that kernel of knowledge and expand upon that and create something else. And then they take that piece of knowledge, expand upon that, and create something else. On and on and on till infinity. That's the way humans have been since the beginning. We're amazing creatures. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it inspired you to try some stuff. Hopefully it got you out of your rut to go outside, go paint, go do something interesting with your life. I tell you, not first on the wall. Hey, I pay taxes. I pay for this wall. You not. <laughs> Got off the internet, even though I'm posting videos on the internet. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, and of course, all the caps that we carry here at Art Primo will work on this can. So if you're looking to do this, you know, you can use the yellow fat cap. Uh, you can use the, uh, what's, this, what's this called? What's this cap called, guys? Can you tell me? I, I forget what this cap is called. <laughs> brain fart and you know definitely leave a comment below if you have anything you want to say about this video what you think of what I did on this project how you think I can improve on this project or if you think you, you know a better way of doing things because like I said when we spread the knowledge we all learn something and get better in the process uh, you know definitely subscribe hit the, the bell notifications because we really don't know how the algorithm works we really don't <laughs> it changes like once a month um, but you know, the more comments you do, the more sharing you do, saving the videos, liking the videos, that helps us a lot here. And uh, you know, the more action we get, the more motivated I am to make a video, that's for sure. You know, it's a reciprocal process. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, thank you very much, guys. I'm GR, see you later.